Hello, it's me again. So I got bored today and I decided to to open this hard drive. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, this side. Toshiba, I mean Hitachi, but it's Toshiba, as you all know. And it's an old type. See, no SATA. It's EDA. I, whatever. And I'm opening. I'm opening it because I collect neodymium magnets for a little project that you guys will see um, after I finish collecting all the parts. So let's begin. I think I'll start with the PCB. Um, this is supposed to be easy. I don't know how long it will take or how hard it will be. I only did this to uh, just a couple of hard drives and it was quite easy. I'm saving all the parts uh, that I uh, collect from these because uh, I'm only thinking, thinking of new projects. So that's why I'm keeping it, even the screws, I'm keeping them. I don't know why, maybe for mobile phones or something like that. Yeah, this has a warranty sticker, it has never been opened. Okay, Let's see. Ah, there's another screw right here. Okay, let's see. Somebody put this thing here. I think it was to pull from the slot in the laptop or something like that. Yeah. So this is how it looks like on the inside. And the connectors for the engine are supposed to be here. Right there, I don't know if you can see. The camera doesn't really focus that good. Uh, I think like this. It's better? I don't know. No, it's not. Okay. Now I can't see. Maybe, maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. So this is the main board. And nothing interesting here. I think this bit of uh, plastic was for uh, the main board not to touch the aluminum case of the hard drive. I think. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the front. This hard drive has uh, some aluminum scotch tape or something put over the screws. I think it's for warranty purposes. I've never seen this before. This is new. Okay. I'm not even going to bother to take that out because the screw just comes out through the tape. And soon you'll hear my dog. He has a friend outside and they're communicating through the window. Okay. Nice. I think I have another one here. I think. Yes. Okay. And here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 screws uh, this little piece uh, okay let's see hmm 
this is so this is so thin, look at it. I can break it with my nail. Why why is it like this? I don't know. Ah, it has uh, some tape glued over to the side. So if I go like this, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. See? It has some aluminum tape all around. I think it's to keep the air inside. Or, I don't know. Because I someone told me once that these hard drives are um have no uh, air inside or if they have any it's really clean yeah. uh -huh. I think there's another screw around here somewhere I think it's right here. So this was the front uh, case. This bag here is supposed to keep the moisture out from the inside of the hard drive. Okay. This is a shiny disk. This is the writing head. Just moves like this and writes the information you need. Right, right here are two magnets, and I will show you the coil of the end of the head, and the magnets control the position of the head, like this or like this. Okay, let's move on. Also here you can see this is also a moisture bag to keep the moisture out. It's interesting to see these all types of type of hard drives and the technology that was put into them and how it evolved during the during these years. I recently opened the um, fairly new the type of hard drive. And it's, it's much different than this. Okay. I think I have another screw somewhere around here. And here. These dots right here, yeah? See this one and these two. Uh, no, they're not. So how am I, why am I going to get this this out? Oh, like that. Yes. Now, 
I think this is the magnet. Oh. It's weak. That's just a piece of iron. Okay, so here you see, this is the coil right here. And uh, depending on the energy you put in the coil, it reacts to the magnet from the backside and moves the head over the surface of the disc. I'll remove the disc now. I can't remove the disc. Hmm. I need something to hold the disc. It's impossible. Another screw. Hmm. Would you look at that? So inside here, it's a bearing that helps the head uh, move, and as you can see, it has well, I guess, two heads, these two pairs of little uh, thin metal. Here's a head, here's a head, because this has two discs. Ah, oh, that's the magnet. Yeah, that's the powerful magnet right there. That's what I need. Hope I can take it out. I don't know how yet, but I will. Now I'll take it out. impossible to move uh, I think I'll get a bigger screwdriver
Oh, these are screws. That's so stupid. There we go. I think I have poor eyesight because I didn't see these screws. So, you can see the magnet, this is the magnet. And this is just the metal. I need to figure uh, out, out a way to take this magnet out of this metal part. And I still didn't manage to get out the engine. The motor behind this, 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 the motor is right here, this is the motor. It's a small motor but it has a lot of speed. It's made in the Philippines. Hmm. How am I going to take this out? I have no idea. I want to keep the discs because they're shiny. They're like a little mirror. See? Ooh. But I need to find a way to get them out of here without breaking them. Ah, uh, I break the tweezers. Ah. Uh. This is stupid.
Oh, I broke one disc. I don't know what how these are made. It looks like glass, but it's flexible. I think it's some sort of plastic. Maybe I can save the, this one. Nah. Yeah. I saved one. And broke this one. But I kept the engine. Motor. I'm sorry. It's a motor. And that's it. Thank you.